Welcome back to another episode of Damachi. And what happened last time? Last time, we're still going down to like the deepest floor we've ever gotten to, right? And it's past, I think, the 25th floor. And this seems to be like the perfect storm in the making because I've heard that season four starts off with a bang. Nothing really threatening has happened yet, although something did happen in the previous episode because the whole idea of it is we need an expedition. Gather up the greatest party that we've ever found and not to, in terms of quantity, right? In terms of the number that we have. And then go with the deepest you can. It's basically saying some shit's gonna happen. So far, everything's just kind of been bad. I mean, kind of good, but kind of there's been like minor problems. Oh, big fish popped up, like a crab popped up. And you're like, okay, well, they're not that threatening. Like we're four season deep. Come on, show me something really interesting. And Cassandra's prophecy, the big moss monster. This seems to be our first big threat because finally something actually that resembles despair is happening. Every the there was a dwarf and an elf uh, that was kind of like bickering in the guild tavern before that was trying to fight over Aina, but there were one of them, the elf guy, the blonde elf guy. He was taken in and by the moss monster. He comes out kind of alive. I don't think he's really alive, but the moss monster's right behind him. And at the end of the episode, Shigusa goes down because we get hit by these like moss pellets. I'm not really sure what that's about, but when she get hit, different sprouts started sprouting. So, is this going to be some kind of parasitic event? I don't know, but for the first time. Well, it's not for the first time in, you know, the previous season, but for the first time in season four so far, they say that the difference between the lower and the middle floors are completely different, right? So we might actually get some, you know, the hype that's been building up saying, no, the lower floors are really, really different. It's completely different from everything you've seen, right? 24 to 25 is a huge jump. They've been emphasizing that over and over again. And finally, we might actually get some despair. I'm not sure. The, the, mo the moss monster seems kind of like intelligent because it was attacking it was attacking and then it shot out a bunch of pellets hit chigusa and then decided you know what i'm done i'm just gonna go back now we're just gonna chill so probably has some higher level of intelligence it's probably strategizing meaning i already hit one target that's all i'm gonna come back later and take it down one by one something like that but i really don't think the moss monster is gonna be all that i don't know maybe he is a final boss probably not but we're gonna figure something out but problem is happening and let's get on with today's episode you know, getting beaten down by a blunt weapon, that's probably one of the shittiest way to go out. Almost it kills you in immediately, but there was a couple couple attacks there that we heard. Healing isn't stopping it? Is it making it worse? No, it just grows back more. Healing won't work. What happens if it keeps spreading? Then it's total parasite. You need to burn it from the root within? How? Does your prophecy give us any solution to this? True. True. You know, Bell's really acting- like, Everybody's like, Oh shit, Bell! Were you always this much of a leader? A lot of character development suddenly? Or has this been built up from the previous seasons? Moss huge. <laughs> wow, original name. Moss huge. Moss big. <laughs> it was eaten the other monster stones though, yeah. And you might encounter other monsters that might be even more threatened than the moss, which makes you regret. I agree with Lily here. Lily has some valid points. Maybe we should let the guild extermination squad do it. But isn't that dangerous? You could get much worse, though. I think his companions are also smashed up. Okay. I don't want objectively, like... This is probably not the smartest plan. But that's also true. We don't know if anybody could cure it above. That's true, too. So what, there's so many different decisions we need to make based on uh, just guesses. Why? Hmm. Okay, based off of that assumption then, okay. It's pretty smart, like the intelligence of it. It is pretty smart. But I wonder if that's the behavior of this monster specific or all the lower monster floor monsters. Well, no, there was other crabs here too that was kind of dumb, but I'm thinking like... Among the lower floor monsters, there are intelligent ones like that. And not like the Xenos type where they can intimate, like actually talk. 
Although I would just, I would argue they're even more intelligent because of that, right? It's a trap. Don't don't. It's a trap. Okay, they're still alive. I thought they got clobbered all the way. Are you sure you should follow this? I feel like this is a trap. I feel like this is a trap. Don't do it. Don't do it. I think Alec is dead, dude. There's other monsters too. Yes, this is a trap laid out by that monster. It's so smart, although not as smart as Zenos, but Do you have um, just a bunch of fireball? But then they get hit by the fireball. <laughs> strategist Lily, okay. Remember, she's been kind of built up as like a strategist, right? So she's stepping up. All right. Where's she going? Large room. Where's the large room? Ah, uh, grabs out of the rocks. It's all right. Big sis, big sis, I just got your back. Don't worry, don't worry. All right, let's go. Nah, it's a trap. It's a total. But we know it's a trap, right? We know it's a trap, but it's not here. It's a just a moss. It even made like that. That's is that Alec? Probably. Where is the moss guy? Okay, from behind. Argonaut time! So, his Argonaut ability is like boosting his feet this time, which made him just go faster, I guess. He can just kind of like add it to wherever it needs to in his body. Even like magic spells with fireballs. Fireball! Oh? It saw the fireball coming and just started charging. Is it enough though? Cripple my ability to use my mask. So it knew it was acting on it, right? It tried to close the distance immediately before you could cast it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, help, Bell. Help. Team. Guys, cut their. I should. What is this moss thinking? It let go. No, you can go in there instead. I'll. What is this moss doing? And. Uh, this is like a waterfall. So. We talked about the previous episodes where the waterfall extends down to the really like 27th floor or something, right? All right, Lily's got her head on straight. Back to strategist Lily. But where is Bill gonna go by himself? Is he really just gonna solo the lower floors by himself? Will he find somebody, a friend that can help him out down there? The Xenos around this low? Huh? Okay, the beginning of 25th. And then what? Okay. Okay. So, intermittent camp to the safe spot. Aisha goes up, says help, and we kind of just chill. Then you're fucked. Yeah, then, then you're just fucked. Lily? Okay. Just make it fall down. Just fall. Okay, fall damage. Alright! Everybody's like, Lily, you're such a smart person. I could have never thought about that. So, Ori's still on the 25th. Potion up. Or are we like really lower? Like, because they said specifically the waterfall extends all the way down to 27th or something. How far did we come down? How did you survive? <laughs> Main character. Mm! Moss man? Did it follow him? No, it says different monsters, I guess. Jesus. Okay, it wasn't a bullet, it was just like birds. Ugh. Did that bird just die by blocking all that? Oh my god, he can't get any rest. Yo, these lower floors are kind of fucked. You can't... They're really trying to hammer in the fact that, you know, there's never a time of safety. There's always danger everywhere else. On top of that, moss huge exists. And maybe other monsters like that. Bell, come on. Don't give up. Yeah. That's right. That's right. 
Oh, what? Were well, you just gonna take them all out? Yeah, she used the sword and just fucking take out all- But you can't even see all the- Okay! Alright, fuck it! Speed too fast that it's almost like bullets. So Bell is fighting it all, okay? Everybody is getting defeated by Moss Huge. Yo! Of all the monsters so far, is Moss Huge really gonna be like the biggest- Fuck you, bird. Moss Huge really gonna be like this- Epic threats. It's kind of hard for me to take it seriously because it's just a moss, but based, on, but based off of what it's done so far, yeah, kind of. I mean, I'm still going to rank like Asterios in the top of the list, but so far, in terms of monsters, it's looking like it. Someone's clapped. Mermaids? Hello? Uh, you're just watching the entire time, didn't even help. <laughs> and that's the episode. So, I. Is there a post credit scene actually? No, there isn't. So, this episode, at the end with the mermaid, what's going on there? It's probably gonna be some, cause like I talked about how if we fall below, are we gonna have like a new friend or new group of people that's gonna help us out? It has to happen or it just doesn't feel like Bell could survive by himself, right? So mermaids, I'm not sure if they're actually monsters. Maybe they are, maybe they're friendly. Maybe there's a bunch of other mermaids that can help us get through. S based on the fact that Bell could still discern what kind of monster this is, and based on the fact that the environment doesn't seem to have changed that much from where we fell, my guess of him falling all the way down to 27th floor just because of they said in the previous episode that the waterfall, right? The waterfall extends all the way down. Maybe that's not where we're at. And we also could discern like what those like fast bird monsters were too, right? So I'm not really sure, but I'm I'm guessing this mermaid's gonna be <laughs> the one little help, little little uh, get out of jail card that Belle will have to move on with this with, move on with this little art. So he's separated. Maybe she's just gonna go through like a hyperbolic time chamber training by himself. <sighs> Hmm, maybe Bell's gonna do some, maybe he's just gonna sell, or maybe he's just gonna come back and meet with everybody else to get the extended party. But the Moss Hudes is still at large. Moss Hudes, I can't believe Moss Hudes is, <laughs> I mean, just because it's not some kind of like crazy monster, just because it's like a Moss monster, maybe I'm underestimating it. But based on what's done so far, it's intelligent, it's cunning, it's just dismantled our entire party, our greatest party that we've performed so far. So it is definitely a threat. The fact that it, Lured Bell down. It wasn't even make it trying to make it try to drown. She said, "Nah, get the fuck out of here. Take the waterfall down." Pretty fucking smart, and it's pretty t like he he seems to, like he even like stopped like when he, Bell was about to cast Fireball. Moss Huge was for a second about to be like, "Oh, you're using a magic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna close the gap and get there immediately." So it's really really smart, trying to tell us that this monster is smart. It's different. I wonder if there's other monsters like Moss Hughes that are also smart because there's dumb monsters like the crab and the birds below, but there's specific unique monsters that seems to be on a higher level of intelligence, but not to the same degree as Xenos. Does this kind of tie in? Because I don't really know how again the Xenos were able to gain their like ability of intelligence, be able to basically communicate also. Something different is happening in the dungeon. I'm not sure if Ouroboros kind of uh, or what was his name? I forgot his name. Fuck. The old guy that was top, you know, that was basically telling Hestia family to go save the Xenos, right? He was talking about how the dungeon was changing. Does he have any influence over this? I don't know. I don't know. But so far, our plan is get back to the top of 25th floor. Set up a little help. But if the moss does come, we're going to use some gravity magic and make it die from fall damage. While I, while Aisha goes back and sends up uh, a little help from a rescue party from the guild to help them. But I feel like getting bailed out by the guild won't happen. I feel like Bell's going to figure this out by himself. With the help of mermaids, I guess. I don't really know. But hey, if you stick down on the song, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm going to say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps you to go push out my spinal channel. If you recommend it so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys. Take care.